Andrew, Jesus don't like that. I'd even go so far to say he's pissed. A youth pastor entrusted to be a counselor to children is accused of taking advantage of a 17-year-old girl. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said divine intervention is what landed that youth pastor behind bars. 29-year-old Andrew Weaver is accused of trying to have sex with a minor that he met through his church in Lakeland. Highlands Church of Christ is located along Lakeland Highlands Road. Eight on your side's Megan Gannon is there for us tonight. Hey, good evening, Keith and Stacy. So we know that Andrew Weaver is in jail. He's being held on no bond. And Sheriff Grady Judd not holding back with this man either, saying that he is an embarrassment to all youth pastors who work to do the right thing every day. Last week, Polk County Sheriff's Office was notified by church staff members about Andrew Weaver's inappropriate behavior with one of his students from the youth group. I appreciate the church doing the right thing. They got him out soon and reported him to us. Detectives say the 29-year-old youth pastor was having an inappropriate relationship with a 17-year-old girl. He was quote, giving her informal guidance. Back in December, detectives say Weaver picked up the girl from the church and took her to a hotel room in Mulberry. Sheriff Grady Judd says the hotel maid ended up being a guardian angel that day by knocking on the door. Well, that freaked them out. They stopped their in-depth counseling and fled and he took the young lady back to the church. Eight on your side reached out to leaders at Highlands Church of Christ and received a statement that says in part, quote, we are devastated by what has occurred and we are praying for healing for our church and for those involved. And the sheriff tells us that there are no other victims that he is aware of at this time. But of course, this investigation is ongoing. We also tried to reach out to Weaver's family. However, a family friend did tell us that they have no comment at this time and they just wish for their privacy. Keith. All right, Megan Gannon reporting live for us tonight in Lakeland. Thank you for that.